Shamu el Rishon, 1 Samuel 26. And the Zephim came unto El Shaul to give saying, Does not David hide himself in the hill of Chakila, which is before Yashimon? Then Shaul arose and went down to the wilderness of Ziph, having three thousand chosen men of Yashrael with him, to seek Eth David in the wilderness of Ziph. And Shaul pitched in the hill of Chakilah, which is before Yashimon, by the way. But David abode in the wilderness, and he saw that Shaul came after him into the wilderness. David therefore sent out spies and understood that Shaul was come in very deed. And David arose and came to the place where Shaul had pitched, and David beheld at the place where Shaul lay, and Avner, the son of Ner, the captain of his host, and Shaul lay in the trench, and the people pitched round about him. Then answered David and said to Achimelech, the Chitim, and to Avishai, the son of Saruyah, brother to Yoav, saying, Who will go down with me to El Shaul, to the camp? And Avishai said, I will go down with you. So David and Avishai came to the people by night, and behold, Shaul lay sleeping within the trench, and his spear stuck in the ground at his bolster. But Avner and the people lay round about him. Then said Avishai to El David, Elohim has delivered Ath your enemy into your hand this day. Now therefore let me smite him, I pray you, with the spear, even to the earth at once, and I will not smite him the second time. And David said to Avishai, Destroy him not, for who can stretch forth his hand against Yahuwah's anointed and be guiltless? David said furthermore, As Yahuwah lives, Yahuwah shall smite him, or his day shall come to die, or... He shall descend into battle and perish. Yahuwah forbid that I should stretch forth my hand against Yahuwah's anointed. But I pray you, take now Eth the spear that is at his bolster and the curse of, rather, cruise of water, and let us go. So David took Eth the spear and Eth the cruise of water from Shaul's bolster. And they got them away. And no man saw it, nor knew it, neither awoke, for they were all asleep, because a deep sleep from Yahuwah was fallen upon them. Then David went over to the other side and stood on the top of a hill afar off, a great space between, being between them. And David cried to the people and to Avner, the son of Ner, saying, Answer you not, Avner? Then Avner answered and said, Who are you that cries to the king? And David said to Avner, Are not you a valiant man? And who is like to you in Yashadael? Wherefore then have you not guarded your lord the king? For there came one of the people in to destroy Eth, the king your lord. This thing is not good that you have done. As Yahuwah lives, ye are worthy to die, because ye have not guarded your master, Yahuwah's anointed. And now see where the king's spear is, and eth the cruise of water that was at his bolster. And Shaul knew eth David's voice, and said, Is this your voice, my son David? And David said, It is my voice, my lord, O king. And he said, Wherefore does my lord thus pursue after his servant? For what have I done? Or what evil is in my hand? Now therefore I pray you, let my lord the king hear, eth 
the words of his servant. If Yahuwah have stirred you up against me, let him accept an offering. But if they be the children of men, cursed be they before Yahuwah, for they have driven me out this day from abiding in the inheritance of Yahuwah, saying, Go, serve other Elohim. Now, therefore, let not my blood fall to the earth before the face of Yahuwah. For the king of Yashara'el is come out to seek eth a flea, as when one hurts a partridge in the mountains. Then said Shaul, I have sinned. Return, my son David, for I will no more do you harm, because my soul was precious in your eyes this day. Behold, I have played the fool and have erred exceedingly. And David answered and said, Behold the king's spear. Let one of the young men come over and fetch it. Yahuwah rendered to every man eth his righteousness and eth his faithfulness. For Yahuwah delivered you into my hand today. But I would not stretch forth my hand against Yahuwah's anointed. And behold, as your life was much set by this day in my eyes, so let my life be much set by in the eyes of Yahuwah. And let him deliver me out of all tribulation. Then Shaul said to El David, Blessed be you, my son David. You shall both do great things and also shall still prevail. So David went on his way, and Shaul returned to his place.